John Swat used to call this monastery a quiet corner, a place where you can come and get away from all the turmoil of the world outside. But you can't run away from turmoil. After all, there's turmoil in the human heart, too. Each human heart. What you have to do is learn how to create a quiet corner in your heart and then carry that with you wherever you go. This is why we meditate. To find a part of the mind, our awareness of the present moment, that's separate from the things it knows. In the beginning, you're actually trying to make it one with its object. Make it one with the breath. Wherever there's breath, have there be awareness. Where there's awareness, have there be breath. Have them fill the body. And then as they stay there together for a while, they begin to separate out. It's like oil and water, or vinegar and water. You put them in one bottle, and it, as it gets shaken around, it gets all mixed up. But if you allow it to sit for a while, the, these things begin to separate out. You see that the oil is one thing, the water is something else. And it's the same with the mind. As the breath and the mind stay together and are still together for quite a while, you begin to see that the breath is one thing, awareness is something else. And that awareness doesn't have to be affected by what's going on in the breath, going on in the body, and going on in the world outside. It can be aware, it knows. It's not that it doesn't know, but it has a sense of being separate and a sense of well-being inside. The reason we get things all stirred up and mixed up together is because the mind feels the lack inside and then goes running around outside trying to fill up the lack. And that shakes up the bottle. But if you have a sense that the awareness is sufficient, it's enough in and of itself, then things don't have to be shaken up. Because as the Buddha pointed out, the things in the world are not the problem. What's happened, what the problem is what the mind is doing. As it goes shooting out to this object, shooting out to that object, it creates a lot of disturbance. So we come to this quiet corner to see that the, the disturbance is not so much what's happening outside, it's what the mind is doing in response, or what the mind is doing to look for things outside. And if you can learn how to change that habit, we're finding that there are actually deeper resources inside where the awareness is perfectly sufficient in and of itself. When you can find that out, then you'll be quiet wherever you go. As the Buddha said, we live in a world where there's always going to be turmoil. And the nature of his skill was not to put an end to the turmoil outside, but to look for the real source and to find that the source is inside the human heart. Those arrows in the heart, they keep pointing outside, outside, outside. Remove those arrows, and he said, everything can be at peace. We may want the world to be at peace, but we have to start with ourselves first. As for the impact we're going to have on the world, that's going to depend on other people. Because the practice isn't something you can force on anyone else. But try to establish a good example. And there will be other people who pick up on it. <laughs>